Hello folks, what's up? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Today, as I said, we're starting with just tier 10s, at least a couple of days, just because it's more interesting, I would say. So, VZ55, replay of a game I played, let's say maybe half an hour ago. Awesomeness, pure awesomeness. Just check. Today, I'm going to show you two replays, both battles with VZ55, and both of them are, believe me, pretty nice. You'll see. First shot in 30B, my teammates kill him. Second shot in brother from another mother, I lost some HP, but what's most important is that I don't lose more from this KPZ 50T, but he, as we can see, he's not paying attention on me, luckily, bouncing some shots from Leo and from KPZ, and he's backing up. This ended nice, so in my favor. I didn't lose that much hit points. So, right now I'm thinking, should I immediately advance here, and you can see that he's around a bit more than 1000 hit points, my teammates are shooting in other people who can potentially shoot at me, so I'm finishing him, yes, 125 from that uh, ramming damage, first kill, what are they, 2k in my pocket, 2-0 for our team, and right now, farming simulator can begin. Here I'm thinking that maybe right over there I'm expecting Grille to be here and so I'm trying to somehow move to this position on left, this bush, but let's see this VZ55, maybe we can do some damage to him there. First shot 450, second shot, unfortunately you can see that I was frustrated, how the hell I didn't pen him through his tracks, but never mind, 2.6 till now, reloading around 20, 20 seconds and then we'll see. Unfortunately, you can see that we lost our flank here and that our team need to defend. Are they gonna do that? We're gonna see in next couple of moments. More than 500 into E75 Coppola. Immediately, immediately I press that uh, reload button and I can see that there uh, our Progetto is going in the direction of, uh, of Grille, but I'm looking at <laughs> Destroyer who came here and you can see that, yes, Grilla is there. One shot into tier 9 destroyer, another shot with which we killed with that 55, but unfortunately I received almost 800 from Grilla. You can see right now that Grilla is spotted, but E75 is peaking once again. He's looking at our Progetto 66 behind us, but here still we're not gonna try to Unfortunately, that second shot was miss, and a bit more than 4.5k till now. Our Progetto is forcing that Grille, but unfortunately, yes, he died there. Maybe that was my mistake. Maybe immediately I should uh, take care of that Grille. 5.22, and that second shot we didn't saw, but that was a hit, that's for sure. He had uh, that luck that he didn't die because you know that sometimes this this gun can have pretty nice high rolls. So he was a bit more than thousand. Unfortunately, I I didn't kill him. But you can see we're losing nine to four, a bit more than five k in my pocket till now. And let's see, can we make something? Yes almost thousand in uh, 
uh, turret of E75 and we are more right now with more than 6k so this game had huge 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 potential so I could have I don't know how, how much damage here unfortunately our team is losing we lost second flank you can see that standard B is forcing you as their crown wagon is also there here how I didn't pen that I don't know but unfortunately I didn't I'm with around a bit more than 7k right now you remember that uh, blind shot I had on Grille but just 600 hit points and right now Kran Wagen is forcing Grille right there behind us and yes 5 to 10 not that bad with our hit points but look at this how the heck I bounced that I mean unfortunately really Leo is starting to farming uh, the rest of us what what uh, what was left of us and in next couple of seconds unfortunately yes as I said this game had really really huge potential and 7.3k what we can see and that blind shot on Grille so let's check let's check what our team is doing Progetto is trying to farm that tier 9 destroyer but yes and here I was come on don't show your side to them but as you can see our team is melting in one moment here uh, we was we were actually in plus with the hit points but one interesting situation here is that I don't know how like not now but I will I will tell you right now how that Grille couldn't kill that Crown Wagon I don't really know but yeah this is funny and yeah this is the thing sometimes you're you're losing really awesome games on some funny ways here also Yures had a had a shot on that crown wagon which is uh, he's on 9% just so he's uh, one shot I guess of course but uh, our Yures I don't know how he missed his shot at crown wagon was turning so yes probably probably he bounced his uh, lower upper, upper plate or something so there you go we lost really awesome game here let's go back and let's check our post battle stats and let's see how our teammates did and what our enemies did actually in this game that uh, crown wagon who picked at the end uh, before leo started to farm me uh, crown wagon which i bounced he did pretty pretty awesome so he carried his team and uh, i guess because i carried my team his teammates uh, was just a bit better than mine and that's why we lost our game because uh, in those last moments if i had a uh, at least one guy who covered my back uh, at that position where Progetto was Progetto who was farmed also by uh, Kranwagen then probably uh, they would be able to stop that Kranwagen and uh, to stop that Leo uh, who pushed me and at the end took all my hit points and I guess that one man in uh, some exact position uh, means a lot in some crucial situations like uh, this situation was as you could see uh, I didn't pay attention at the end uh, how how many hit points uh, was left at in enemy team but uh, I can tell you for sure that if we had uh, at least one guy more there in that position where Progetto was behind us for sure this this could be like uh, around 10k game because it was uh, developing too fast in in that in that place in which i was with uh, a lot of tanks which forced our team from that uh, heavy tanks flank and yes let's check 
you can see that that Kran wagon also had 7.8k, a bit more 50, 60 almost more than me. And he also didn't have that uh, awesome players uh, played with him. But you can see that that little and that small difference can like means a lot sometimes. But never mind, we farmed really a lot and we had pretty awesome game. Never mind, we lost, but you can see that with the 7.8k damage, so not even first. I'm not gonna speak about uh, mastery badge. Never mind, uh, you had this type of damage. You're not gonna have that mastery badge ace tanker. Instead, uh, I mean, if you're if you're uh, winning this game, probably probably we would be able to see at least uh, first, if not ace tanker mastery badge. Right now, we are gonna check another replay, but uh, this replay is. Uh, a game I actually won and had a lot of kills and also a lot of damage through this game we are about to see how you can actually gain that uh, mastery badge ace tanker even with a bit a smaller amount of damage than we had in our replay we checked uh, so at the end of the day that uh, win means a lot for for those medals uh, and awards you're receiving in your games all in all, what can I say about this tank is, I mean, if you're playing like a session of uh, 10 games or 15 games in a row with this tank, I I can be free to say that you should average around 4 or 4.5k damage at, at least, like, you're, of course you're gonna have some, some battles, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 10k games, but uh, don't forget about uh, those games in which don't forget about those games in which you are going to have uh, just two or three minutes to farm something and those games in which you just uh, uh, you'll not be able to 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 gain and to farm that much damage so from 10 to 15 games i would say for 4.5k average is at least should be something something normal with this vehicle huge potential of course 20 seconds of reload time. I know that they even uh, nerfed this tank. I don't know how long ago, but I'm sure that they nerfed something. I think, I think uh, maybe if I'm correct, uh, they nerfed reload time for one or two seconds and maybe they nerfed uh, gun aiming time. Please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think uh, that's the case. Here you could see that uh, Immediately I was uh, going forward and I pleased Fosh to go heal that he can uh, back me up from there because I I saw that we have that uh, Super Conqueror and Object 430U in enemy team and you know that uh, Super Conqueror can farm this vehicle like nothing when Super Conqueror is uh, uh, hull down and about 430U, I mean, okay, he doesn't have that uh, great... Uh, gun depression and that those type of cap capabilities but that vehicle is really overpowered from my opinion just like vz55 is overpowered on some specific way so here is super conk i don't know how i bounced that lower plate shot but never mind immediately we are backing up around 500 from that uh, first magazine and luckily here he didn't pan me immediately i'm using my repair kit I can move back and save my hit points as much as I can because when you are uh, top tier and uh, we, when you are uh, trying to attack so playing this map and once again unfortunately his weak spot I'm not able to hit also bounce Super Conk is one awesome vehicle, really. What I wanted to say is, my uh, tactic, let's call it like that, when I'm attacking on uh, this map and when I'm top tier, is that always, of course, if I'm playing heavy tank, always I'm trying to reach this position here, because from this position here, especially when you have some 
hull down capabilities, some at least mediocre gun depression, you can work really, 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 really good. I'm, I need, I mean, I, I needed to say thanks for for this guy who killed Super Conqueror because right now we can see that we can advance pretty awesome. And yes, this is the case through which you can see that this gun can be trollish from time to time. I mean, it's not a, it's not something you for sure didn't heard until now. Maybe that's the thing they wanted to do with that nerf. 300 I received from uh, tier 8 British. Not that much. I can I can work. Just just critical but okay i'm killing him so first kill on conway bit less than 2k until now four four we have six and a half minutes more so this is promising yes this looks like that we can have really one interesting battle here he's showing me his side i mean even if he was frontally for sure he wouldn't have a chance to survive Especially I'm shooting armor piercing composite rigid rounds and here I decided what should I do? Tiger decided to go in front, so go receive the damage instead of me, thank you. And what I'm doing? I'm going in front. I, I saw it for 30 U. Luckily he bounced. Right now I'm gonna wait. To secure that kill, 3.3 almost. Okay, damage, third kill, good, actually great. Immediately going forward, because I can see that we are 3.5k in front and 7 to 4. So when you're playing assaults, there's no there's no time to wait. Here he killed my my gunner and he screwed me. I could kill him there, but Yes, good for him. He survived. Uh, he managed to stay alive for a couple of more moments. Straight 500 into his his back, and let's just wait until our team is going to finish him. Luckily, ISU picked this guy, I guess, because he could kill him with the, that one shot and less than 4k 1.3 we assisted and right now i'm i'm gonna wait for this isu to fire why should i receive 750 almost thousand and i guess fosh will kill him but unfortunately unfortunately he received a lot a lot of damage there STRV on the hill So let's just go back and let's wait 11 to 10 In this moment I thought well, what the hell are we going to lose this but I Don't know why these uh, STRV drivers are turning the, uh, their sides, but Probably 10 of them. I killed the same way in just today with this tank Immediately I went out of that uh, circle and I pleased my teammates not to cap. We're a bit more than 5k and I can see that that T-54 uh, was last spotted there on the hill. Light tank is trying to circle us or something, I don't know, so I immediately, when I saw his in intentions, I immediately went back. Luckily, E75 didn't have opportunity to shoot at me, and we can see that T54 came here. So, yum 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 yum. <laughs> That's two shots for me. I pleased this guy to move back that I can finish him. 474. Oh, you're giving me your side. Thanks a lot. Almost, almost 6k. And here, just light tank. Five kills until now. Uh, one mistake I made here is that I immediately 
should go straight forward and but <laughs> what i did here i mean look at this this is maybe i, I thought you know that because uh, i'm on a higher ground uh that hill going there in direction of those two bushes and that i can uh you know reach his uh, to shoot at his cupola or something and Grilla took that 900 that immediately i was all like what the heck you can see uh a bit of frustration why i did that because until this moment for sure for sure i would be able to reach him and took all those like thousand hit points from him so six kill 6.2 k damage 1.3 assistant 2.2 k damage i blocked top gun i guess high caliber and as i already said Yes, mastery badge, ace tanker. So, when you're winning your battles, this this tank uh, uh, doesn't have that uh, big expectations, you know, because uh, I know some other tier 10 heavy tanks in which if you win your battle with the 7.5k, yes, I mean, I'm thinking right now uh, what was the damage I had uh, with the IS-7 I don't know how many days ago uh, I won that battle and I I didn't receive that mastery badge ace tanker I think around 7.5 K or something similar and so you can see that this tank right now in this moment doesn't have that great expectations so a bit more than 6k damage okay six kills some block damage some assistant damage and yes ace tanker pretty interesting right I when I play this battle I also like, I don't know, one hour, one and a half hour or something like that. I really didn't expect that I was going to uh, receive that uh, Mastery Badge Ace Tanker because I thought that this tank has really bigger expectations for uh, that uh, medal I expected around, at least around uh, 8k or something because you could see from that first battle I had almost 8k but uh, I lost so of course nothing from those medals. <laughs> Let's check our post battle stats and let's see. This is the second battle we showcased. So you can see Ace Tanker, Top Gun, Steel Wall, High Caliber, 6.2. Yes, this is a carry. Nice games, ladies and gentlemen, I could tell you. I mean, this tank is pure awesomeness. You can enjoy in every single battle you play in it. Of course, uh, you're not gonna enjoy in those one two three minute uh, farming simulators especially if you're in that losing team <laughs> but hopefully we're not gonna have a lot of them so this is it I know that all of you already knows those details about this tank so I'm not gonna waste my or your time about that I just hope that you enjoyed in both replays and for sure tomorrow we're gonna have something more from tier 10s uh, I hope something similar, if not something even better. So please stay tuned. If you didn't, jump on that like button and subscribe button because with that you're gonna help a lot. Thanks in advance. Until tomorrow, stay healthy, stay smiled. Please be good. All the best from Alex and channel Grind Together. Until tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye.